Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the newly launched My Glam Lit Collection. Now I have already done a review of their 2-in-1 lit collection. However, this is the individual liquid lipsticks. Now they have come out with 15 different shades and I've picked out 8 of them. So as always, do check out the description box below to see the shades that I picked out. And for foundation shade reference, I am NC40 in MAC. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so they notify whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right into the video. So first let's go over with the description and the claims of the product. Now on their app it is mentioned that it is a matte finish, smudge proof and transfer proof formula. It is smooth, opaque application, highly pigmented and vegan friendly as well. Now for their enhanced properties, it says that it is enriched with Moringa oil that moisturizes your lips keeping them soft and supple long lasting up to 12 hours and it is cruelty free as well now like i mentioned before they come in 15 different shades and they are priced at 395 rupees for 3 ml of product so this is how the outer packaging looks like which is common for all the shades which has all the ingredient list and everything and this is how thin and sleek the actual product comes in and the wand is a flat doe foot applicator like this one. So now let's talk about the most important part which is the formula of these liquid lipsticks. Now these are extremely matte, they are highly pigmented and they are comfortable on the lips. Like right now it does not feel like I'm wearing a liquid lipstick at all. And it has a dry time of about 15 to 20 seconds so it is quite fast drying. These are also smudge proof, transfer proof, bulletproof, name it whatsoever so you will have to use an oil based remover to remove the liquid lipstick if you use your normal face wash or even the normal micellar water it will not work and your lips will literally die so just use any oil based remover so i'll quickly insert a video of how the liquid lipstick looked after having a very heavy lunch so if you have like light meals or any snacks or drinks or anything it will stay through but then if you have any kind of a meal which has oil in it it will partially come off now, since the formula of this liquid lipstick leans a little bit more towards on the drier side, I would highly suggest, and it is also mentioned on the website, that you need to use a lip balm and then go over with the liquid lipstick. Now, if you do that, then there will be a little bit of transfer, but then if you also use it without any lip balm, there will be very, very, very minute transfer. And last but not the least, these are not sticky at all. Now I'm mentioning this is because they're two-in-one lit collection. I felt it was a bit tacky and sticky, especially if it was still wet. And if you were pressing your lips together, it made it a bit sticky. But then this one, I feel that they have reformulated and improved on their formula, which is great. And it does not have that stickiness at all. So having said all of that, there were a few drawbacks. Now for the first one is that there was a little bit of inconsistency with the formula. Now out of the eight shades that I picked out, there were two shades that were streaky. Now one of them was kind of okay, you could manage it. Now the other shade is called, I think, Love Bomb. That shade, oh my god, it was so messy. The reason is because I used it with a lip balm first and it was not setting, it was so streaky and so patchy, it was not drying properly. I had to go over with the second layer and that made everything worse. So I had to remove that whole thing and then reapply again without a lip balm, which made it a bit better. But yeah, that happened. So during the lip swatch, I will mention as to which shades were streaky. Now for the second drawback is to do with the shade range. Now when I look at these shades, there are so many pinks and so many purples. I hardly see any browns or oranges or even the red. It's more like a neon pink based red, but there is a lot of pinks and a lot of purple. So that is the second con. And finally for the last drawback is the fact that there was no arm swatch or even a model wearing the lipstick on her lips because for me it's hard to refer and see how the shades actually look like on a real person because the shades could differ from different skin tones so it is nice to see that as an example which was not there at all so yeah these were my thoughts about the my glam lit collection and now let's move on to the lip swatches
So guys, this wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so they notify whenever I upload. As well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try my best to do that for you. As well as follow me on my socials which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye. Thank you.